worried about those those three really. Okay. But um, whatever the group does, we've got to make it consistent for you, right? And um, yeah, the more consistent you are here, the solution you are. But generally, does that, does that sound as if it's something worth going for, worth doing? Yeah. 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 It's still only very lightly contacting the queue, but you can feel that the queue is doing a bit more sensitively, I think. Mm. And so those extensions. Just that slight reduction in speed gave the queuing gave a slight increase in awareness and control. And I felt your fingers were much more able to stay where they wanted to, where the queue was just very slightly slower, a bit more control, very slightly slower. It's not the speed we're after, it's the control, isn't it? Yeah. I can't think any in history. Yeah, look how slow he is. What you do is, when you're watching on the box, when you sat down in front of the TV, hold the cue in your hand, move your back swing in unison with his, or go on YouTube and do it. You see how slow and it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's I think Sean and Ronnie are probably the smoothest on the. Mark Selby is quite good as well. But I Yeah, me too. <laughs> but I think that's great. What you, I think, I think the main thing is increasing your control just by reducing the speed a little bit. Everything else then seems to fall into place nicely. And generally, you have more control of the queue and the delivery as well. Uh, and you tend to pull the front and at the back a bit more nicely as well. I, I like the, the prolonged holes on the back swing. You feel that helps you with your control? Yeah, I mean, and in that time, I've looked at the queue maybe twice and the object ball twice before yeah. concentrating on the point of contact on the object ball. So that split second, I've sort of gone. In my eyes, twice, up four times up and down. So I do find that important. Yeah. And whatever you do, it should be consistent, as, as we say, as we keep saying, and it makes it less valuable. Yeah. I'll try and get out of the habit of different, uh, different grips. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. without question. Because yeah. all the boys on the TV have the same for same, same grip for all the different shots. Okay. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank it's you. been a pleasure. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, the toolkit means your right eye has, has selected the, um, the finger to cover the chalk. And then likewise, they'll say, okay, do the same with the left finger. And, uh, okay, still the right eye. But I've seen sometimes a diagnosis being uh, a mistaken diagnosis when because someone's body position or their shoulders or um, you see if their right eye preferred the left hand has to come over further to this side of the body so they may actually select depending on which hand you use the wrong they might actually select diagnose the wrong eye being preferred just because it's more comfortable to keep See there, this diagnosis that my left eye is uh, preferred. So more reliable technique to find out which eye is preferred, which eye you naturally sight with if you're forced to choose one over the other, is to make a small uh, diamond shape here with your hands, like this. Cover the chalk with it, arms outstretched, and then just quickly pull it back to your face. That will show you that the right eye is choosing to sight that. That way there's no difference according to which hand you're using and it's very, very simple, very, very reliable and it will be very difficult to make the wrong diagnosis as well. So once you have that information, what are you going to do with it? Well, I hope you're not going to cue under here if you're right eye preferred. All players have a preferred eye. People who say if you're chalk is in the middle of both imaginary fingers with both eyes open, that you have equal eyes, haven't done the test properly. Everyone has a preferred eye, it's a fact, there's no um, escaping from that. 
If you're given a choice, you have to select one eye or the other. It's like writing. You can only write with one hand. You've got to choose one over the other. So this test shows you what eye you would prefer to use when you're forced to use one over the other. And obviously with this one you can't go into the middle here and you can't go to both eyes either, otherwise that would be cheating, that would be like uh, diving with a diving mask. So what you need to do is go by where you can see the ball more easily when you're on a shot and that's usually with the cue more or less in the centre of the chin. Maybe slightly one side or the other if you watch Ronnie O'Sullivan or Stephen Hendry, they're slightly to one side of the chin with the cue. But most players are more or less here and their eyes can adapt usually to their exact head position because of course head position is um, a factor that governs the ultimate sighting position of the shoulders, head, body and eyes over the cue and through the cue ball. Okay.